What is the Moab? If you've been paying attention to the news lately, you've probably heard this name come up more than a few times. But there's also been just general confusion about the Moab and just how destructive it is compared to the other weapons at the US's disposal. The short answer is that the Moab, or as you probably know it, the mother of all bombs, is the largest non-nuclear weapon the United States currently possesses. The acronym, though, actually stands for Massive Ordnance Air Blast. But hey, I guess mother of all bombs sounds sexier. It was designed back in 2002, first produced in 2003, and used in combat for the first time on April 13th, 2017. It weighs 21,600 pounds, is just over 30 feet in length, and has a blast yield equivalent to 11 tons of TNT. 11 tons? Now, if you're having trouble picturing that, that's okay. It's basically the same as two adult elephants, or roughly one-third of Donald Trump's ego. Unfortunately for the president, though, the Moab, despite its destructive force, is not classified as a penetrator weapon. So he'll just have to settle for using the one that's in his pants. All jokes aside, the bomb is an air burst class of weapon, which basically means it explodes and does its job long before it would hit the ground. The explosive agent is known as Composition H6, which consists of RDX, TNT, powdered aluminum, paraffin wax, and calcium chloride. It's also used against a very specific target with the goal of trying to collapse tunnels with the initial concussive force of the explosion. The long answer deals less with the details of the Moab itself, and more with understanding its capabilities relative to what else the US has deployed or what it could deploy in the future. President Trump drops the US's largest non-nuclear bomb is a great headline to draw viewers in, but the only reason anybody cares is because of the words largest and non-nuclear. The hype, if you want to call it that, comes from the fact a single bomb produced this destructive force. Because the Moab is designed for a sort of shock and awe scenario, that's why it was developed around when the US was invading Iraq. If five of the US's second largest bombs were dropped, we wouldn't be hearing about it. But it might not even be worthy of all this hype. Because the Moab doesn't really cut it when you compare it to something like your average bombing raid during the Vietnam War, which consisted of dropping roughly 168 tons of explosives onto a few miles of land. Far, far more firepower. But it's not like the US is incapable of developing weapons that could match or exceed those raids. They already have in the form of basically every nuclear weapon in their arsenal. Which is again, what made people care. Just throw in how the Moab is the US's largest non-nuclear bomb and suddenly everybody loses their minds! Or tunes into Fox, CNN, NBC, etc. to get the scoop. Same thing, really. But it's incredibly important here to actually look at the numbers to understand. The US had a nuclear weapon that was on par with the Moab in 1950, and to this day it is the smallest nuke ever developed. It was named the Davy Crockett and looks more like something Rob Gronkowski would spike than a warhead that's on par with this 30-foot behemoth. Even the bombs that were dropped on Japan in the decade prior, Fat Man and Little Boy, far outclassed the Moab by several magnitudes. So just imagine what their nuclear stockpile could do today. It's important to understand this context of largest non-nuclear bomb. It's not comparing some featherweight to Brock Lesnar so much as comparing Brock Lesnar to a Brock Lesnar that's the size of Manhattan who has been imbued with all the powers of Godzilla. I hope that helps. Hey, the series is back, and I hope you learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Short Answer Long Answer. I'll link some more articles in the description as there's a lot of detail you can go into when it comes to military weaponry and development. I'll include a link to the FOAB, that's the father of all bombs, or something Russia has supposedly developed that's four times as strong as the Moab. Really interesting stuff. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like, subscribe if you want more, leave your suggestions down below, and feel free to check out some of my other content if I have yet to sell you on it. I'll see you guys next time.